Hello, so for this video, we will be tackling um, rotation. Don't forget the chapter we're doing is called transformations. And in transformations, we're transforming a shape by either using translation, reflection, rotation, or enlargement. We've tackled translation and reflection in the previous videos. And now in this video, we will be dealing with rotation. Okay, so for rotation, we need three important items, and these are the angle. Is it rotated by 90 degrees, 180 degrees, okay? Um, uh, or, or 360, which in, in um, a 360 degrees would mean the shape will remain as it is, okay? Because it turns a whole revolution. Whether it turns clockwise or anticlockwise, we can say 270 degrees uh, clockwise. Or we can say 90 degree anticlockwise and it will end up in the same location. And besides that, we need the center of rotation. So we can find where the object will be placed, okay? So let's start with an example so you, you'll understand better. We need to rotate triangle A, okay? It's not from this page, it's from this page, sorry. Okay? We need to rotate triangle A 90 degrees clockwise. So clockwise, don't forget, is this direction, clockwise, the way the clock turns. And this is anti-clockwise, the opposite. Okay? So 90 degree clockwise about the origin. And don't forget the origin is the 0, comma 0. This over here is O the origin. And label it B. So Rotate triangle A 90 degree clockwise. Now, for this one, you can use okay, a flat file, um, plastic folder. Okay. So, we have this shape. You can just copy the vertices or copy the entire shape if you want. Okay, if you have a marker, it's much better. Okay, and mark the center of rotation. So the shape, I traced it down, the center of rotation, and I need to turn 90 degree clockwise. So if I pin it over there, 90 degree clockwise means that the tracing paper from this angle is going to turn to this angle. So I'm going to turn it. Look at this line over here, the edge. Can you see the edge? Look at the edge. It's going to turn 90 degrees. It's turning. 90 degrees. And keep the center of rotation pinned over there. It's very important. And we can see where our image is going to be. So basically we have this one here. Okay. We have this point here and the other one over here. Okay. Don't forget to use a pencil and then you can join them up. As you can see, this one, uh, this vertex, you see the L here joining the center of rotation with this vertex, has been rotated 90 degrees. If I rotate this L by 90 degrees, it will come over here. Okay, there's the point. But the tracing paper is a very easy method to use, okay? And label the image B. Now, question B, rotate triangle A 180 degrees about the point 1,3. So now pay attention, okay? Because the rotation is not through the origin, it is through 1,3. So let's find the coordinate 1,3. Don't forget, this is 2, this is 3. Okay, two. So 1 comma 3 is this point over here. That is the center of rotation. That is where I need to pin, 
okay my tracing paper or my plastic folder whatever to turn it around okay and that should be labeled as C now when we rotate by 180 degrees there is no need to show whether it is clockwise or anti-clockwise okay Mela. let's start rotate triangle A so from A so I can find the same shape I plotted before okay there it is but now I need to turn from this point over here 180 degrees that won't make a difference whether it's clockwise or anti-clockwise so look at this edge over here it's going to turn 180 degrees that is 90 degrees and that is another 90 degrees that's 180 okay so we're going to get one vertex there the other one here and this one over there And label the image as C. That is C. Now plot triangle with vertices 5, 0 to 0, 2, comma, minus 4. 5, comma, 0. Don't forget the numbers over here. This is 0. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. 5, 0. So I have a point over here. 2, 0, 2, comma, 0. A point over here. And 2, comma, minus 4. 2 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 I have a triangle inside a triangle so let me do it in blue so you see the difference okay so I plotted it label it D and now the question is, describe the single transformation. So is it a translation? Is it a reflection? Is it a rotation or an enlargement? Describe the single transformation which maps A to D. From A, how did I get to D? So I'm going to use the same shape I've already copied. And we're going to try out different angles and different center of rotations for example if i rotate the shape over here am i getting on the no okay so that's not a good center of rotation if i rotate from the origin do i get to the mm, nope 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 never okay so you have to try to think now it's not that difficult this one as you can see, A and D are on the same spot. Okay, so if I turn it around from that spot, from that point, there we go. It's exactly on top of it. So what did I do? I turned 90 degrees, this time anti-clockwise. 90 degree anti-clockwise. And the center of rotation was this point, 5 comma zero the center of rotation is very important okay because it will make a difference where the item will be if i rotate from here i won't get to the right place okay so i have to find the right um center of rotation so describe the single transformation it is not a translation it is not a reflection that is clearly a rotation if it's a rotation I need to give the angle. I need to give whether it is clockwise or anticlockwise. And we said anticlockwise. In short, you can write it like this. Okay. About and then the center of rotation. And the center of rotation is the 5 comma 0. Okay. And that is the answer. That's the first example. So, let's see question C. 
So start by yourself, okay? Start by drawing a shape with these vertices, label it A, and then draw its image, label it B, then think on this single transformation, which is mapping A to B, okay? Start over. So, three comma two, four comma three, five comma three. It is an awkward shape, okay? Because join each point each time. Five comma four and one comma four. Join the points together. And that basically is shape A. B. Draw its image with vertices 0, comma, minus 2. So it's here. 0, minus 3. 1, minus 4. Now, minus 1, comma, minus 6. And minus 1, comma, minus 2. So. Okay, so <clears throat> that is B. Now, I need to see which transformation maps A into B. Now, is it a translation? Don't forget transformations. There's translations, reflection, rotation, and enlargement that we still need to do. Is it a translation? No, because in translations, we said that this shape doesn't um, change its orientation if it's looking upwards it remains always looking upwards exactly the same in this case it has been um it has a different orientation in fact that point is not looking at that side it's looking downwards now okay it's not literally inverted it's not a reflection but there is a rotation and we will have to find out where is the rotation, the center of rotation, what is the angle, etc, etc. So ideally, uh, copy the shape. Let me copy it here. Let me place the edge on the y-axis, okay? So it won't get mixed up. And I copy the shape. Okay, now how can I get from that shape to this shape over here? Now, let's check this for example. 
In that case, for that to be a center of rotation, we will have a shape that is touching that vertex. And we don't have any vertex touching any vertex, so definitely the center of rotation is going to be away from the vertices. Let's check this one. Maybe it's this one. Okay. No, that's not enough. Okay. Let's check. So this is by, by trial and error in reality. Okay. Directory, they have way on how to find it out let's check the origin always check the origin because they ask most of the time the center of rotation is the origin okay in this case it isn't okay so i'm going to try maybe a point somewhere there don't forget you have to and let me give you a hint the distance should be somewhere in between. Let's say somewhere here. Okay. No, it's not enough. So let's see, maybe this point over here. Ooh, a bit far away. So let's try this one. No. Right there. No. And it is five comma minus two, as you can see. Okay, so we started off from A. Started off from A. I'm going to pin this one. We tried several different points. Okay. And if I rotate it 90 degree anti-clockwise, I will get exactly on shape B. Okay? So don't forget, try out if they're touching each other, if the shapes are touching each other as we did in this example over here, then that was the center of rotation. Always check the origin, okay? Most probably, but it might, it might not be that difficult during the exam, you have to try different points. And it was this one. So 5 comma minus 2, this one. Okay, so describe the triangle transformation. You have to say it is a rotation. We have to give the angle. And we have to state whether it is clockwise or anticlockwise in this case. Okay, and this center of rotation, which is 5 comma minus 2. Okay, now after rotation, the object and image are what they have same sides and angles and we said having same sides and angles so exactly the same they are called congruent congruent you will do this next year in, in uh, year 11 but the orientation of the object and the image the orientation is not the same all right if it was pointing that way it's not pointing downwards it is the orientation is rotated okay depending on the angle so that was rotation don't forget we need to know the angle whether it's clockwise or anti-clockwise and we also need to know the center of rotation now next lesson we will be dealing with the enlargement when we are enlarging or diminishing okay um, the size of a shape. Thank you.